The Royal New Zealand Navy's second Anzac-class frigate HMNZS Taymana departed Canada on May 31 for home, three years after she commenced her frigate systems upgrade, at Lockheed Martin Canada. Taymana's next stop is San Diego, where she will put her upgraded systems to the test. The frigate systems upgrade, FSU, integrates a range of new systems aboard New Zealand's two Anzac-class frigates to uh, maintain the frigates at an acceptable standard. Initially, $446 million NZD was budgeted to upgrade both ships, though the actual cost has blown out to $700 million. Taymana's sister ship, HMNZS Taykaha, completed an identical overhaul in late 2020 and returned to New Zealand in time for the new year. The upgrade has been designed to maintain the frigate's surveillance, self-defense, and combat systems to a standard comparable to the frigates used by Australia, Canada and the United Kingdom, allowing them to continue to operate in a full range of roles. The upgrade consists of a new primary surface surveillance radar, the FAILS Smart S2 Malawian Quachas, CMM missiles, and a variety of new electronics. The frigates have also been outfitted with Rheinmetall's multi-ammunition soft-kill system, MASS, Link 16 compatibility and an improved hull-mounted sonar. The entire package is integrated with the ship's new combat management system, the CMS-330, developed by Lockheed Martin Canada. The completion of upgrades aboard Taymana means that, after years of delays and cost overruns, New Zealand finally has its two main surface combatants back in service. New Zealand's Anzacs are expected to serve into the 2030s, before they're replaced by new frigates. In the shorter term, the vessels embarked SH-2GSH-2G Super Sea Sprites are on their last legs, and the process to replace them has already began.